All right, we're back. Hello. Testing. Hello, everyone. Please take a seat. We have one more lightning talk. This is Yuri, and he's going to be telling you about Worldwide Meteor Meetup Day. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Hello. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, this is, this is going to be awesome. Um, so I recently joined Meteor. This is how excited I was. And this is, <laughs> thank you. And so I joined as a community engineer. And if, you, if there are any Team Fortress 2 fans, that is, that is one of my favorite roles uh, in a game. And I, I'm really excited to tell you more about it. But because I'm a cat, this looks more like, like this. Um, so this is me for the la during the last two months and hopefully for many more months to come. Um, let's talk about Meteor Community. Uh, we are in San Francisco, but there's a lot of people watching us live, and there's actually 116 Meteor groups in the world. Uh, that is a huge number. Over the last uh, two months, I've been emailing a ton uh, to get in touch with them and to get to know them. And it's just, it's just mind-blowing of how widespread uh, Meteor community is. Uh, the new groups over the last uh, two months uh, are from Cebu, that's in the Philippines. We have Chattanooga, Ghana joined, San Diego, Taipei, Tanzania. Uh, they're very small right now, uh, but if you're watching from those cities, you now know that you have a meetup group and you can meet people locally and talk to them about your projects. Uh, so I think this is really exciting, like being able to um, to talk to people from all over the world in a span of few minutes or few hours or few days is just incredible. Uh, a reminder for international viewers, uh, Discovered at Meteor, Discovered Meteor is, a, first of all, a really great book to get started with Meteor, but also it's available uh, in a lot of native languages. It's available in Italian, Spanish, Espanol, if you habla Espanol, or I don't see Japanese there. It will be really great to see some people contribute from Japan. And this is an open source project. So Sasha Gray, Sasha Gray, he made it available for free for international people because um, $40 in US is reasonable money to pay for a book. But outside of US, in some countries, that's, that's a huge amount of money. So it's really amazing to see open source community come together uh, to help people learn, learn, learn Meteor outside of US. A um, couple of words about the startups uh, that are using Meteor. Uh, Respondly demoed a little bit today. It's an amazing company. It's local. Recently, Harrison from Apple uh, joined it. He's a good friend of ours. And there's a couple of companies, Lookback.io and Sandstorm. You should check them out. Uh, check out Sandstorm specifically because it's a private cloud, and one of their team members is Garpley, uh, who is an awesome cat. Uh, and then a couple of startups have already, like some people ask, is Meteor ready for production? Um, and there's already two startups that were built with Meteor and that has already been sold to, like, to Lyft and Box, and that's Rover and Stream. So to me, that's, that's a kind of good answer, I think. And uh, a little story from, from Toronto. I was just in Toronto recently, and I had a chance to meet with local meteorites. And one of the companies there is doing some amazing work in the Meteor community. Uh, the company is OK Grow. They, uh, they were a rail shop, but uh, they, they went off the rails to Meteor. Um, and they, they host, uh, every month, they host awesome uh, local hack nights. Uh, and people can come together and work on their Meteor projects. And it's a very small but awesome group. And Carl is captain there, and he's really awesome. And then you can also see on the photo Rafiki on the very left, uh, he is actually from San Francisco, and he used to attend all the dev shops here, but he recently moved to Toronto, so he's now in Toronto. And uh, the, reason, the reason why people are hosting these events is, is very simple. It, it's, it's about learning. And uh, there are, I think there are two ways to learn, and it's by doing and by teaching. And, uh, and you can combine those two by... Uh, organizing or hosting an event or coming to an event. It's, uh, everybody's on different levels. Uh, everybody is at their different stages of their lives. Everybody's looking to learn some new things. And uh, I think you can learn a lot by, by coming to events, but not as a passive user, not as like a viewer, but as an active participant. And uh, if you collaborate, that will make events much better. And uh, 
very exciting news. So we are going to have something really big scheduled for early October. We're going to have a worldwide Meteor Day. It's a day where all the cities, all the groups can get together, and uh, we're going to We're going to launch some uh, educational materials and some other cool things. Um, more information will be coming soon. For now, the URL for information on that will be bigbang.meteor.com. Uh, right now, it's just a redirect to the slide deck. Um, but we're going to be putting up more information there. And we already have 60 cities on board for that day to participate. And uh, if you're watching this and uh, you're not on the list of those cities, I encourage you to get in touch with us and just shoot me an email directly at yuri at meteor.com or to ping me at Twitter and uh, we'll help you get going. Uh, thanks for tuning in and coming in today. Oh, questions? Questions. All right, I have one. Let's say I'm interested in organizing a meetup in a city that's not already on the list. What's involved? Ah, so it's actually, <laughs> it's actually very simple. Uh, uh, it might seem like hosting an event is a, is a very hard task, uh, but it's actually very easy because a lot of people are interested in helping uh, host Meteor events and create Meteor events, so you'll always find help. But the simple list is email me and uh, we'll point you to a very short list of things you should do. And we have detailed instructions, and I'll walk you through that. And we'll also be having Google Hangouts to chat face to face. And uh, yeah, it's very easy. Will you have a slide deck to share with me? <laughs> yes. You can also fork the slide deck if you want. We'll, so basically, yes. Yeah, so for the, for the events, uh, you, don't have to be, you don't have to be an expert in Meteor. Um, it helps, but if you're not, uh, we will have materials that you will be able to use to host the event, and uh, we'll, we'll help you find the venues and stuff like that. And I'll get a cool new shirt. Ooh, <laughs> yes, cool new shirts. Uh, yes, I'm currently not wearing the cool new shirt, but they are on the way, and hopefully they'll make it on time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, thank you. Sweet. Thanks, guys. And if you're watching this, if you're watching this online, there's a subscribe button somewhere down <laughs> there to follow up on the videos. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of amazing videos, so tune in. Thanks. All right, cool. Thank you.